deals to you is so ridiculous, man. Like, three back airs from Arsene, he gets to tie up. No matter, like, it's already even game. Like, three Arsene back airs just evens the game, real talk. It, it's kind of annoying. So I I would nerf the knockback on that one for sure. You can even hear the damage. The crunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the, um, maybe nerf the range. I, I, I'm still expecting some day somebody says, what are you talking about? That's That doesn't make a sound when you hit it. Yeah, and then I realized it, it was in my head the whole time. It was no, just like my soul crunching. It's it's really, really big. Uh, I would nerf ours. I would definitely nerf ours in back air. Um, may, and I don't want... Maybe the growth weight in the way Joker gets access to our sin, perhaps, like, nerf the meter a little bit. Like, he doesn't get our sin as fast, but he still gets our sin. And also buff base Joker in that sense, right? Kind of give it a bit of a balance. That would be more of a balance patch for Joker than, um, than say, buffs and nerfs. Sometimes what a character just needs is, you know, a balance rather than a nerf or a buff. Right, to sort of counterweight the character. Like, base Joker becomes more powerful, but in contention, you know, Arsene is slightly weaker to make up for that, and that would be a boss. Games that are like Overwatch are really good at understanding, like, the, the way the meta kind of like revolves around buffing and buffing characters. Sort of say, sort of speak, balance. But let's go into Charlie versus Eon. Eon rocking the sassy tag guys. It lets us know which Pokemon version he actually made. Well, hold on. Before we move on, I, I would like to make one more point, which is I think that. The meta that exists is not necessarily uh, static, right? So no. you, it's, it's, it, it can it can be due to change any time within any any patch. Yeah, melee has been the same for ex what is like I, I don't even know how many years now, but yeah. the tier list in that game has changed. Yes, correct. It, it changes usually with, like within a year or so because like they find out certain matchups are different, right? And the game has always been slightly evolving versus Ultimate, right? Which hasn't fully been optimized. Sometimes we still still discover a few things left in the game that haven't really been outspoken or a video hasn't been made on them. So, like, well, you take a character like uh, Melee Pikachu, people thought were, was just terrible and not very good. And, and then you have Pax, who yeah. just defines the character's meta indefinitely. And pushes it so far. Yeah, that's why I tell people it doesn't matter what. Oh. Sometimes cheer lists are more subjective than possible, right? If you want to pick up a character and be the very best of a character, then who's to stop you from doing that? And very well, you could define that character's meta and gain a lot from it as well. Uh, but it also, like, it doesn't hurt to have like more than one character in your tool uh, toolkit to definitely uh, understand matchups. That's why Charlie like also has a Lucina. If you guys are wondering, Eon still has a box. He's also used Pikachu, Pichu, right, to his toolkit. So both of these players are kind of used to having that backup character for a match that they're not really comfortable with, or they feel that the character would do much more damage than the character, current character than me. Yeah, speaking of meta-related things, um, Charlie's been working on something with this character. Yeah, um, he's definitely, that's always been my favorite thing about Charlie. He pushes, even though they're like optimal ways to play Wolf and such and such, like, like I feel like Charlie has always pushed the meta for his character his own way, rather than to, you know, see what other players are doing in, in perspective. I do like the fact that Charlie understands, you know what, I should stay on the Angel platform to beta Arsen, the Arsen meter, because that's what's, that's one thing I feel like players really, really forget about. There are ways to get rid of Arsen, and if you lose a stock, right, kind of buying time and burning the meter by staying on the Angel platform is really good. Yeah, it's crazy. Even though uh, Charlie had such a lead, like it's just a few hits from uh, Arsene um, could have easily brought that mm -hmm. back to even. So three, it's three good that he now. waited that out. Um, yeah, but I've oh. seen. Char sorry, sorry. He so he went for a back air and he was right behind Eon. I'm surprised he didn't go for a grab. But I also felt that Eon would have called him out with a spot dodge. And the late hit of Nair is going to be the one thing that takes care of. That spot. Mean dash tag. Yeah, I'm sorry. Dash tag. We covered this earlier. We did. <laughs> but I, totally, yeah. I totally missed it on that one, man. It's okay. It happens. It's all right. I forgive you. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say, though, is uh, Charlie's worked out a way, uh, you know, w one of Wolf's weaknesses is his out-of-shield game, especially behind him. Mm -hmm. um, but Charlie has uh, been showing off on Twitter that you can footstool out of shield into up B for a punish, yes. which is faster uh, than any other option he has out of shield. That's what I've always liked about Charlie, right? He looks for those little those little tidbits of what can what more can he push the character in the meta in his own way rather than other ways. Like he was very he was very much so like that with Fox. Like he had very little things with Fox that he would do rather than, you know, Larry or Light in that aspect. 
Yeah, I feel like Eon also does that to some extent. I mean, both of these players are, are, are similar in their, you know, taking the their characters, their limits. Like, both of their box punish games in Smash 4 were just insane. Yeah. Um, but uh, we see now, I think Eon, Eon has settled on this character. Uh, I remember last... I believe it was last MSM he was here, and he was like... He hopped on the comms for a second just to say, Joker is busted. Yeah. And then he tweeted about how he's like, Joker is my new main. Yeah, even so to speak that Nico has kind of put the character back up again. He's definitely like... Oh. I wouldn't call Joker a, a little bit too broken, because you can still deal with Arsene and Joker a little bit, right? It's the Arsene that gives players a lot of trouble, but you also have to understand like when to try to push your opponent properly and definitely beat out things like Meter. Because sometimes you do think about choker a lot but there's not a lot of chokers in the top eights right like you only have mk leo the sole rep the sole representative of the joker main, right and a few other players to put with that the character is honestly great but he still has some shortcomings i i also feel like that's partially because um a lot of characters haven't I mean, players haven't fully committed to this character mm -hmm. they a lot of them have them as secondaries or you know i'm gonna bring out joker because he's cool um, the thing about Joker too is like his normals don't really kill, right? His forward tilt is more of like a quick push my opponent and get off the option, right? Jab doesn't really do too much. Jab is also another opportunity for that one, right? Down to puzzle ball. He has more of get off me options and then he brings it up to the whiff punish game. But when you start to space yourself around Joker and really understand, okay, he's going for more whiff punishes and I should definitely outspace him or understand when the MIG is coming, then you can definitely start to bring down Joker for sure. Which Charlie demonstrates, right? Like, right, like, look at the way that Eon is trying to set up things like back air and the opportunity to go for Aha, and then Charlie's able to come in, wait for the, line, the, pun the landing or the punish, and he'll go for four of it. Oh, he'll space himself just enough to get out of Eon's range. Yeah, but uh, Eon getting a little more creative here. Yeah. And, uh... Now Charlie's having trouble. Yeah, and it's the way that Eon's playing, right? He's kind of playing a, more of like a follow me, chase me kind of game because he knows like I have, I have things like take aim. But once Charlie gets into that range, right, with things like Nair, and he's able to stuff out things like the, the meter, he's able to turn things around. But unfortunately, I felt like Charlie didn't di that, di that the best way of possible, and he got killed by up air. I feel like he didn't. Di I think I think he got up thrown, and he didn't di the throw. He just kind of took it. That did. That happened so fast, too, that I'm just like, wow, Charlie just died. But it's, like I said, right, it's the way that Charlie was kind of following Eon a little bit. I felt like if he had stayed back a little bit here, toss out Blaster, force Charlie to kind of come back or respect Blaster rather than go for take aim in the air and try to line with the, with the back air, then Charlie definitely would have forced Eon to play a little bit differently. This is, actually, this is only winner's quarters, right? This, yeah. Tur this tournament must be pretty, pretty stacked if, he, if this is our winner's quarters. Yeah. I think it, yeah, I see Razo and uh, Master Mario. We'll probably have them on stream. The usual, the usual like, usually like four to five PR players. Alrighty there, but we're getting into this last game here. Yeah. Quarters. Oh, the late hit of Fortel was not able to connect. Fortel is two hits. The second hit, one of the first it connects to the second one. The second one has a little bit of a late hit that won't. Well, it'll connect, but it won't be able to like deal enough knockback to get in the tough spot. Oh, good use oh, of down smash. Down smash. smash. It was really good. He read the normal get up too, and not only that, like he also would have read the, the wall get up. Plus the shield frames on it too was really decent. So yeah, something I didn't realize until I looked it up. Uh, I was just looking at some wolf stuff because I wasn't sure I was getting some of the information on him right, but. Uh, his forward smash, I mean, his down smash, the hitbox that comes out in front is actually bigger and hits further down than the one behind yeah. him. So if you're a character, you have to really understand like what, which characters you have that actually grab a ledge and maybe you live like their head or their, their uh, in some cases, like ears sticking out where a wolf can definitely punish them for it because like, things like your hurt boxes in this game and hurt box shifting is really, really prominent, especially with angling sheep as well. Yes, definitely in this game. I mean, there are a lot of... Uh, they did an even better job of, with the characters on like defining what their hurt boxes are. Mm -hmm. To some, I mean, that, in some ways that's good. In some ways that makes it very frustrating when you miss. Yeah, that's why like one of the nerfs to Pikachu. I'm sorry, to Pichu was actually the fact that Pichu's hurt box a lot bigger. A little, just slightly still bigger. 
Yeah, and uh, I can't think of a better character off the top of my head. I guess maybe now because he's on screen, but at avoiding attacks by hearth box shifting the Joker. I mean, so yeah. many of her boxes, his hearth boxes are all over the place. Down there. Oh, nice. He tried to come in with a really quick nair because he also might have been able to contra uh, Eon going for a get up right there on the ledge. He also does the anime run that I hate in this game because it beats a lot of projectiles. <laughs> Oh, like he, he like really, really low profiles. Yeah, he does. <laughs> look at him. He's doing the hand man. People call it the man. You normies call it the anime. The normie. Right? I'm a normie. Yeah, you got it. Come anime. at me. It's probably only seen Cowboy Bebop on two normal years ago. Anyways, <laughs> I, I mean, haven't even seen it. God. Shame <laughs> on you, man. I only said Shame that because I knew that. Was <laughs> Shame on you. Anyways. Well, it kind of goes back into like Namco Bandai's history of making games like Tekken, where they like very well. Tekken has very specific like her boxes and hit boxes that you have to really like. It goes down to the hair, basically. So. Yeah, but across the board, a lot of these characters are, are more like that in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, what's interesting though that it has changed a little bit. I mean, uh, Puff and uh, and uh, oh, Jigs' is crouch. Yeah. Isn't as ridiculous as it was in Still good though. melee. Yeah, yeah, and it, it like a lot of grabs you could just kind of beat by dunking. You can't do that to. Them in this this is a really good. Ex sorry, this is a really good example oh, yeah, of the ledge guard. Topic. Sorry, no, it's, it's all good because we talk about her box. But this is a really good ledge guard we saw kind of from Charlie too because oh. he went for down smash and then the minute he saw that Eon is going to force Charlie to hold shield, Charlie backs off, sets himself up.